Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Laale, Lala for those of you who can't pronounce that and um, I'm kind of a food, lifestyle and travel blogger and right now I will be showing you around my kitchen and my pantry because I've had a lot of people that have been uh, asking me like what am I eating while in isolation slash social distancing, how am I uh, planning my meals ahead of time, how am I stocking up because I'm kind of going to the supermarket. The first shop I did lasted me 10 days and I've just done another shop literally yesterday so this shop hopefully will last me between two to three weeks with maybe after 10 days restocking on some fruit and greens but obviously that's not completely necessary but in Bahrain we are still not under complete lockdown so so long as you're decreasing your kind of uh, movements uh, that is acceptable so that is what I will be showing you today and I really hope that you enjoy it okay so as I think I mentioned keep in mind that I uh, did my food shop yesterday. So this is about as fully stocked as my fridge is going to be and I have tried to stock up enough for uh, two weeks to three weeks. So if we start up here, and obviously this is just my fridge, I'm not talking about my pantry. Um, I've got two packets of blueberries. I have got back there, that's kind of always there. These are all my different like chocolates and I don't actually eat that much of it, to be honest, so there's quite a bit there. And then over here I've got different cheeses, so I bought some cheddar cheese, some parmesan, and I have halloumi just because it lasts really well. Um, I did not think about that beeping. And then I've got a couple of fillets of salmon right here, I'm going to be cooking those today. I'm going to have to open and close this to stop that beeping sound. So if you see me cutting, that's why, so that you don't have to watch me open and close it every time. I then have some chilies right over here. I've got an over overripe banana that I will be using for some banana muffins. I've got some leftover roasted lamb and then mushrooms over here, half a can of pasta sauce, a little bit of pesto and some ginger. And the second, uh, shelf. I've just got some olives and these are, what are they called? There we go. Um, Morabato seasoned pitted olives and it's really, really nice for me as a snack. I've got some cherry tomatoes and if you see that I've got like loads and loads of labels on it, it's because I don't take any plastic for the rest of my um, fruit and veg. So they just stick them on here and then I've got some lettuce. On the next little shelf, I have some leftover food. So this is rice and mung beans that's left over. And this is like a quarter of a butternut squash that I'll eat today when I make the salmon. And then over there in the back, I have a portion of my stew. Down here, this is actually kind of funny, especially if you know me. So I don't actually drink Coke, um, pretty much at all. And the reason I have those is if I've ordered in the past like year, pretty much, any meals that kind of come with Cokes, I just keep them in case I have friends who come over and want some. I've got some tortilla wraps here. There were six in these, but I've already had three, so there's three left. And then I've got some extra hemp seeds there in the back. I haven't finished my current ones, which I'll show you. Some cocoa butter in case I want to make some chocolate, some sesame seeds, some pumpkin seeds, and some chia seeds. And then here in the drawer, I have a couple of boxes that have my herbs in them and they're wrapped in tissue to stop it, um, to just kind of prolong them as much as possible. So I've got mint, parsley, dill, and coriander in there. I've got some broccoli, I've got some cauliflower, and then I also keep, whoops, and then I also keep my veg in, in here. And so it just, I find this keeps it fresher for longer. So I've got like um, some cucumbers, some carrots, some little baby courgettes, a couple of peppers, and a couple of, uh, what's it called? Tomatoes as well. So those, that's my drawer. And then if we go over here to the drawer section, uh, door section, I've got some rose water, I've got some coconut aminos, this is orange blossom. I've got 
some hemp seeds there that's almost finished and then some flaxseed meal as well and then these are jams um i think it's apricot jam and rose jam and then i've got my condiments so just mayo ketchup and mustard as well as some sriracha um i keep my water in here for the water that i want cold i actually have right over here a water cooler but I don't keep my water cooler on because it just uses up a lot of electricity. So I put in any cold water that I want in there. I have got half of an orange juice, soy milk and almond milk. These are the opened ones. I've got some more in my pantry. Up here, I've got a bunch of Kerrygold butter for when I want to bake. I've got some spreadable cheese. I've got a couple of jams. This one is red raspberry and that one's strawberry. I really like this brand because they don't add any sugar but it's super super sweet. And then I've got like a little bit of tomato paste that's left over that I'll be using up. Got some vanilla bean extract, baking soda, baking powder, xanthian gum, miso in the back there as well as some more baking powder that I use for like cleaning. And then up here I just have eggs. So I just restocked, that's why there's so many. There's a little bit of butter over here. I've got my like little roller that I keep in the fridge and then any condiments that come with meals and stuff. So this is my fridge. And now my freezer. For my freezer, I'm actually pretty proud of this because I've been stocking up so that I help myself out basically. Um, so let's start maybe at the top actually it'll be a little bit easier so these are my meatballs I've made I made a whole batch the recipe is on my website so you guys can go make it if you want there's about 12 left over I've already had six I have kind of three with each meal like that suits me so that's like four meals left in there this is a portion of mac and cheese again when I'm just like kind of hungry I can just take that out over there I've got like little bits and odds and ends of various breads and what I'm going to do is I'm going to defrost that and then blitz it up to use as breadcrumbs. In the bottom at the back over here I've got some uh, ground beef um, or ground lamb I can't remember and then at the bottom I have the Beyond Burger patties because I do try to also include quite a plant-based variety in my diet. I've got some Sara Lee cake here. Honestly, this has been in there for a really, really long time. Like, I've only had maybe half of it. I don't eat that much of it, but it's nice if you just want, like, something a little sweet. Over here, we've got some of the uh, banana muffins that I made the other day with you guys. And these are the frozen ones, so whenever I want one, I just pop it into the freeze into the oven. And then just, uh, what's it called? Ice cubes. And if I remove these... Down there at the back is kind of all of my meats. So I've got like bits and bobs that were left over from various different meals that I will be using to make a chicken stock. And then a couple of trays of chicken breast as well as some sausages right there on the top. As I mentioned, this is gonna be like enough food for me for like two or three weeks, but these are also in the freezer, so they will keep. And then if we move into the bottom bit, this is where a lot of my like um, frozen fruit and veg live. So I've got some like raspberries, some sweet potato, this is almost finished actually, some frozen blueberries. I use these mostly for baking or crumbles, stuff like that. One, one frozen banana that I need to put into a smoothie and, and have. These are some frozen cookies. These are actually not my recipe. These ones over here are. So what I do is I, um, I make my batches just like my muffins and then I will freeze them and then just have them whenever I want so that they're ready for me instead of making the whole batch from scratch. And then at the back, I have, I think two, yeah, two different spinach um, packets. I've also got a couple of okra packets as well as some frozen, um, what's the word? The Indian cheese that's in Sag, I can't remember now, is right there. So I have some coconut flour right here. I've got, I think there's just one 
burger left in this that I didn't particularly like. They're um, chicken and quinoa burgers. I have a loaf of sourdough there in the back. And then here I have three portions of frozen meals. So this is what I do as well when I am making too much of a particular meal or like I've just made a portion that's um, a little too big for just me. So I'll just usually freeze them and then defrost when needed. So these two are split pea soups and that one is my vegetable stew. Can't remember if I have that on the website. It's really, really good because it's a cupboard ingredient one, which is perfect for these kind of times. But if this one is not on the website, I did actually take pictures of making it, so I will be posting that for you. Then in my door, I have got, so if you guys don't know, I'm lactose intolerant. Um, I've got a couple of ice creams. This one is almond caramel, and this one is hazelnut chocolate. These are my favorite ice creams that I have tried. Um, I think they taste really good. I do not particularly enjoy the Ben and Jerry's non-dairy. And I've also got some Zatar, uh, so thyme. I bought this when I was in Lebanon and I keep it in the freezer to keep fresh. As I showed you, I've got some cookies and then under these cookies are, so if I ever like cut the tops off of strawberries, I always will uh, freeze them and then I'll put them into like smoothies and stuff like that so it's not wasted because obviously I put like things like spinach into my smoothies anyway so it doesn't make sense to waste these tops but I don't necessarily want to eat them when I'm eating a strawberry so I keep them in there. And then I've got a single uh, Snickers ice cream, my like ice pack. This is a crumble topping that I made a little while ago. I always try to, again, make extra when I'm making stuff like that and then pop it in the freezer to use when I need to. And that, ladies and gents, is my freezer. Now for my pantries, I've got a couple of different ones. This is the easiest one to show you and then the rest are a bit of a mess. So over here I have different kind of dried pulses and nuts and stuff like that. So peanuts, buckwheat, I have uh, rolled oats, uh, pecans, white rice, brown rice, split peas, etc. And then if there's any kind of leftovers, I've got a few nuts that I stocked up on because I want to make some granola and use it for recipes and baking and stuff like that. So I've got macadamia nuts, uh, walnuts, and pecans. So those are new so I haven't opened them so that they stay fresh but once they do I tend to put them in containers like that. I've got some fresh uh, almonds that are still in the shell, uh, buckwheat spiral. Obviously some of this stuff I already had like I didn't go out and buy these during quarantine. Um, not even some actually this entire drawer I already had except for the nuts which I just bought. Um, but yeah I've got some buckwheat spiral some green lentils, some yellow lentils, and some dried beans, as well as some like tomato paste in the back, and right down there there are some stock foods. And then under this, I've got a couple of cans of tomatoes, and then some uh, coconut milk, as well as some black beans. I wanted these for a recipe that I'll be making. And I think somewhere here, we might have some chickpeas as well because I want to be making like hummus or other stuff like that. So that is this drawer. Then if we move up here, these this is like where I keep my spices and stuff like that. So that's um, and then up here is like a little part of my pantry. And as you can see, I've just got a couple of cereals. One of those is almost finished. And then um, my different non-dairy milk, so two almond and two soy, as well as some cans of beans, a thing of dates, these are my favorite dates, they come from Saudi, uh, five bean salsa, and that's pretty much it. And then this honestly is a bit of a hot mess. Genuinely, I actually have just tidied this, and it's still looks like this. I know anyone who um, who is OCD is going to be really upset with me about this, but honestly, like, I just, I can't figure out a good way of, of um, putting this in order. If you have any ideas, please let me know. It's just that the cupboard is like a weird size and it's just very high, um, so it would be a lot more useful if this had like three shelves, but it doesn't and I can't do anything about that. So anyway, I've got 
some things that are divided up. So we've got like dried fruit bars and chocolate in here and then nuts and olives in there. I've got some raisins. I've got some tofu. I have some, what's it called, salmon. And there's somewhere in there, there's also tuna, baked beans, ribena, which I don't love as much as Vimto because I'm very hashtag Arab. I've got dumpling mix right here, various different crisps. I actually don't eat Doritos, a friend of mine brought those over a really long time ago, so they're just kind of living there for now, um, but I don't eat them, as I said. And then over here I've got like my baked, baked goods section, so sugar, buckwheat flour, um, coconut, like desiccated coconut, stuff like that. Right in the back, as you can see, I've got a couple of pot noodley things, um, you know, you kind of need them in these hands, and just in case you're bored one day and don't want to be cooking. Um, some more kind of sugars and stuff like that. And then I've got some dried coconut milk right here because uh, fresh coconut milk can get expensive if you're cooking a lot with it. And sometimes you just need a tiny bit. And then in the corner, I've also got some um, like ready, ready made oats, like the stuff that you can put in my microwave. Um, again, I had that for a really long time. That's not new. I've got some biscuits. These are the only biscuits I currently have, I think. Some more pasta. And then I think that's pretty much it for down here. Up here, I have got in this little thing, I've got um, saffron, truffle, uh, like dried truffles, one little pip and nut, nut butter and maca powder. I've got this oatly uh, single cream, which is fantastic some lasagna sheets for if I want to make lasagna, some flour, there's a couple more back there, some oats and some spaghetti, um, olive oil because mine has always almost run out and that's like my cooking olive oil, rice cakes and little bits and bobs and I don't even know what's in there to be honest. This is a really great high quality olive oil that I bought in Puglia and I use that on my like salads and stuff and then I've also made, oh, I don't know if you can see, they're like right at the back there, the two like thin, thin bottles, um, chili oil and truffle oil. I do have a recipe for those on my website, so um, please go have a look at that if you want to, I'll link it below. And that's pretty much it, and that is, oh, my fruits are in a bowl over here. So um, these are my fruits that I have for the next couple of weeks. I've got some bananas, um, kiwis, apples, and tangerines. Nothing too exciting. And I'll show you some of the veg that is not in the fridge as well. Please don't judge me for these being out at my desk. Um, I just haven't put them away yet and I wanted to show you as part of this video. So I've got some potatoes, some onions, garlic, lemons, limes, and some avocados. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you wanna leave me a comment and tell me what your kind of must haves are, I would absolutely love that. I did realize that I forgot one thing to show you guys because it was out on the table, um, which is peanut butter. I have a couple of jars of peanut butter because because yeah, it's just, it's just necessary. Um, so yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that everyone is staying as safe as possible and I will see you back here on the channel very soon.